Hey, this is Stephen A. Williams, president and founder of the CreditRepairShop.com. I want to make this quick video talking about the Experian letter uh, and the TransUnion letter that has been hit in people's mailbox saying that either an ID, you know, you don't have a proper ID, or that they cannot verify that it's you who are trying to dispute something, or they don't believe that you were just smart enough to create a dispute letter that would quote all of the Fair Credit Reporting Act laws uh, on what you believe was violated uh, with the way that an account, negative account was reported on your credit reports. So a lot of people got those letters and some of our clients got them and they were calling us or emailing. They were saying, what about this letter? Uh, we even had a, a person that really misunderstood the letter because it was kind of confusing, especially the TransUnion one. The TransUnion letter was like, in a way, a stab at credit repair companies. Like, did you know that you can repair your credit yourself and that you don't have to pay someone? I guess they could have put in that letter, too, that you can fix your car without paying a mechanic, that you can uh, build a deck on your house without hiring a home improvement specialist that you can, you know, change the tire on your car without getting a tow company to come change it. They could have just put a whole bunch of different things that you can do for yourself. They just don't understand. People come to our type of companies because they don't have the time. You know, they, I guess they just think that you're uh, working in a big office and you have a secretary and you have a person who cleans your house, you have a maid that cleans your house, you have a cook that does the cooking for you. So when you get home, all you have to do is just sit down and you can make up some credit repair letters and send those out. You don't have to take care of the kids and any of stuff like that because you have a nanny also that takes care of your kids. So that's, uh, I guess that's what they were thinking. And that, uh, but you were smart enough, even though you uh, had all of those things, you still must not be smart enough to come up with a letter to properly dispute the negative information on your credit reports. Uh, so they're going to just send that back. But what happened was we started getting some results, downloading the uh, uh, results for some of the clients that have been in process for uh, uh, 30 to 45 days. And one that I have here in my hand this individual had 11 deletions and specifically some were on TransUnion and Experian, but there was also something that was uh, had caught my attention on this specific client that it didn't, didn't even uh, come to me until I was driving into work and I had thought about it. This specific client, for some reason, he had went out of town and he had forgot to give us his IDs. And we tell people that if you don't, because we don't want to hold up anything, if you forget to give us your IDs, that we're going to send it out because we don't want you to say that we didn't do what we were supposed to do. We sent his information out to TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian without a verification of ID. So no ID, no letter showing address, his address, but they processed the disputes and they did 11 deletions on his credit report. So when I was thinking about that, I was like, so what are they doing? What are they actually doing down there? Are they picking and choosing and saying that we don't want to process this group? Just send them the letter because he said he didn't get the letter. And he was processed with the same time that other clients that we have got the letter. So are they picking and choosing which ones that they're going to do? And what is the reasoning behind it? Like, what is the ultimate reason behind them selecting out certain groups of people to say that they're not going to process their disputes? They're going to scare them from trying to really use a company to repair their credit. And then other groups that are going to submit the information through, even without 
ID and mail address verification, and then they uh, deleted the negative information that we wanted to have investigated off of the credit reports. I have my own uh, uh, guesses on what I think it's all about, but you know, you I can leave that to you to do your own thinking on that, on why you might think that they would do something like that. So I'm going to end it here. This is just a short video. I wanted to tell people about this. And also it's to remind you, just don't quit. If you're doing it yourself or if you have a company helping you or you're with our company, you just continue working at it. What what most, uh, most of the time, it, it seems like they just want people to quit. They want people to just give up, get frustrated and give up. And we all know that in life, you never accomplish anything if you quit. If, you, if you're not someone who's consistent, not someone who's going to just keep pushing forward, things are not going to happen for you. And I wish that I was able to tell you when a certain thing was going to happen for you, but it's always different for everybody. For this client, a lot of stuff happened pretty quick. It's been about uh, 60 days that he's been working, for, working with us. Uh, for other clients, it takes a little bit longer. So we could see that somehow they're doing some type of picking and choosing in there. I'm not on the inside. I don't have no one on the inside, so I'm not claiming anything of that. I'm just looking at the results that are coming in and what we're sending out for other individuals, uh, for each individual and comparing it. And I'm seeing like they're working on this group and they're not working on another group. All right, if you need help with your credit, please visit us at thecreditrepairshop.com. Watch the video, What Makes Us Different, that shows you our process of repairing credit from A to Z. If you need your credit reports and scores, go to the website, your, the number three scores.com. My uh, three free pack of letters is below here. Cease and desist collection activities letter to stop debt collectors, third party debt collectors who bought your debt, uh, statute of limitation. Stop debt collectors that's trying to come after you for time barred or debt has passed statute of limitations and my debt validation letter. So you can use that to go back and forth and challenge uh, the disputes. Um, I mean, make a proper dispute and validation of a debt that a debt collector purchased. Um, if you uh, please like this video, please ask your questions. I'll be in there answering questions. Uh, links below the different services that we provide. Uh, or below this video. Thank you for your time. This is Stephen A. Williams, president and founder of the CreditRepairShop.com.